Hey guys, it is Tutorials for iOS here, and before we even start off today, I just really wanted to say thank you for the last video, my very first video. It was a huge success. Uh, but anyway, we are going to jump right into this. First, go into your settings, and you're going to want to go to Bluetooth. If it, you don't immediately need it, turn it off because that actually kills a lot of battery. It always searches for devices. Next, you're going to go to your mail, and see how mine says fetch new data? Yours is probably going to be on push if you've never done this, so set it to fetch. And I set mine to 15 minutes, meaning that every 15 minutes it'll look for a new piece of mail instead of every like second. So the next thing, you're going to go into cellular and turn off LTE. You don't really need it all the time, so it's kind of the same as always looking for stuff. Next, you're going to go to background app refresh in general settings. Oh, I just missed it. Um, Alright, so you're going to tap background app refresh, and that might or might not be on. I don't really remember, but just to be safe, turn it off, because that also, once again, kills all the battery. This is a theme here that things in the background really kill your battery because they're always refreshing themselves. So next you're going to go to accessibility and reduce motion and turn that on. Uh, basically that's the thing where like if you turn or tilt your iPhone it'll move the background and stuff. That kills a lot of battery like you would not believe. So the next thing you're going to go to um, iTunes and App Store. Um, you're going to go turn off all automatic downloads unless you really need them for something because like all the other ones it scans in the background for stuff uh, continuously so next you can close settings and mine is in my social networks fo folder um, you're actually gonna go into Facebook and turn it off Facebook really is kind of like a secret killer um, unlike most apps it runs in the background um, I know you just turned off background app refresh but Facebook still manages to do it Alright, the last thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn on airplane mode. I don't recommend this for a phone, but if you're on like an iPod Touch or like an iPad, I recommend this. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And just a reminder, soon iOS 8 will be coming out, so I'll come out with a tutorial and review for that. So just keep your eyes out for that. Thanks for watching, and if you liked it, then like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.